With the hardware configuration open, double click the CPU to open its properties. Click on the protection tab. The default setting is the radio button key switch setting, which means the PLC is operated with the stop run switch located on the front of the PLC. With the right protection radio button, you can assign a password with up to eight characters. The password will be required to download to the PLC. With the Read Write Protection Radio button, you can assign a password which will be required to upload or download to the PLC. For instance, if you wanted to copy a block from online to offline or upload a station, the password would be required. Monitoring blocks is still allowed. Be careful though, if the password is lost or forgotten, the micro memory card will have to be deleted or reformatted. For older CPUs that have the removable key switch on the front, the checkbox can be bypassed with password, allows the user to enter a password, and access the CPU even if the key switch has been removed. For the write and read-write protection levels, there's also a way in Somatic Manager to enter a password that is good for the remaining session, that is until Somatic Manager is closed. Click the Help button for more details. Click OK when you are finished parameterizing the CPU. Keep in mind that if the CPU parameters are changed, the hardware configuration must be saved and compiled and downloaded again. The other tabs of the CPU properties are discussed in separate videos. This concludes the video on CPU Properties Protection tab.